In this lesson, we're going to learn about cut, copy, and paste and a great shortcut called autofill. Now, in the last lesson, we set up totals for our sales, for our sales reps, and for the months. And in each example, we typed in the formula. Sum of B2 to B5, sum of C2 to C5, sum of D2 to D5, and so on. Now, this isn't so bad if you only have four or five months and four or five sales reps. What happens if we have 50 sales reps? And what happens if we're doing all 12 months? As you can see, it's going to make data entry a real nightmare if we have to type in formulas in all those different cells. But fortunately, there are a couple of tools we can use to help ease that burden of data entry. The first thing we can do is copy and paste our formulas from one cell to another. So what I'd like to do first is let's delete everything from C6 over here to F6. I'm just going to highlight those cells and hit delete. Let's pretend we never entered them. Now over here in cell B6, we have our sum formula. We have the function sum B2 to B5. That's good. So this cell here is correct. Now, I would like to copy this formula over here to cell C6. How do I do it? Well, click on B6. And then on your toolbar, you want to look for a couple little pieces of paper right there. And if you hold your mouse over it, it says copy. It's right next to the scissors. The scissors are cut, right? Well, we don't want to cut that. We want to copy it. So let's click on copy. Now, notice when you click on copy, you get these little dancing ants floating around the cell here. That's normal. That just indicates that that cell has been selected for a copy operation or for a cut operation. Now with that cell selected, let's click over here on cell C6 and then click on paste. And paste is right here next to cut and copy. It looks like the little clipboard. Go ahead and click on it. And there we go. But notice something interesting happened. Excel didn't just copy and paste the 181 or the formula exactly as it was over here. Because if you remember over here, it's sum B2 to B5. What did Excel do? Well, Excel saw that it was a formula, and it updated the formula for the column that we're in. So it changed the references from B to C. Look at that, C2 to C5. So Excel's kind of smart that way. It'll change the formula to meet whatever column you're in. Generally, that's a good thing. Let's do the next one. Let's click over here in column D and hit paste again. And there we go. Notice we don't have to keep clicking on copy because once it's selected for a copy operation, as long as the dancing ants stay there, you can keep hitting paste. And I'll click over here again and hit paste. And one more time for the total and hit paste again. And there we go. So I could click on the first cell, copy it, and then go paste, 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 and paste. Remember, we talked a lot about cut, copy, and paste in our Word 101 class. The major difference between cut and copy is that cut will remove the original. So if I cut and paste that data from B6, then it will be removed from B6 and placed into the other cell. But in this case, we want to use copy. Now that was pretty easy, right? Copying and pasting data. And Excel is great in that it will update the formulas for us. But guess what? There's an even easier way than using copy and paste. Again, let's go ahead and delete these cells here. Let's delete everything from C6 over to F6. And I'll hit delete. And notice my dancing ants went away. That's OK. Let's click over here on B6 again. Now I'm going to show you a neat trick, and in one quick swoop, we can copy and paste that information all the way across the entire row. Watch this. You ready? Here I go. Done. If you blinked, you missed it. Let me show you that again. Okay, I'll show you that again. Let me delete these, and I'll do it in slow motion this time. I'm going to click on V6. I'm going to take my mouse, and I'm going to move it 
over the bottom right corner of that cell. Notice how there's a little dot there. See the little dot? The bottom right hand corner? Notice as I move my mouse pointer over that dot, it turns from a white plus into a black plus. Got to have that black plus. Very important. Now, with the black plus, click, hold the mouse button down, and drag to the right all the way out here to F6, and then let it go. And there we go. You can ignore this little flashing button that pops up. I'm just going to click over here in left field now. And there we have it. Notice that our formulas are automatically placed in the cells for us. That's called autofill. Autofill is great. I'll show it to you again. Click get the black plus and drag it across. And there we go. It's basically a quick copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste all the way across the row. It also works for columns. Let me delete these numbers here. So I'll delete everything from F3 down to F6 just to demonstrate. Ready? Click. Get the black plus in the bottom right corner and drag it down. And there we go. I auto filled it down. Now let me show you two mistakes that people commonly make when trying to use autofill. Again, I'm going to erase these numbers. All right, here's mistake number one. You ready? Click and drag. Nothing happened. Why not? Let me show it to you again. Ready? Here I go. Click and drag. Did you catch it? I didn't get the black plus, did I? I just clicked here and dragged across. That's the same as just highlighting the cells. So you've got to make sure you have that black plus. Here's the second mistake people make. They come right to the edge here, but they don't quite get to the corner. And they've got that arrow with the four-way pointing arrows, and they click and they drag. And there we go. That's the same as moving a cell. Let me undo that. Here, I'll undo. I'll show you that again. Over the edge, but not quite over the dot. And I click and I drag, and I just moved it. If you grab the border of a cell, anywhere around the cell, and click and drag it, that's the same as moving it. So again, you have to make sure you get the black plus in the bottom right corner on that dot. Click and drag it across, and there's autofill. In our next class, Excel 102, I show you a lot more cool tricks that you can do with autofill. But here's one of them. Watch this. Let me delete this data up here. Now watch this. I'm going to click on January and autofill it across. And look at that. Autofill is smart. It knows the months of the year, the days of the week. You can do all kinds of tricks with autofill, including dates, number series, and so on. We'll show you how that works in Excel 102.